I heard he likes to play hide and seek. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager class Blitzwing. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have Blitzwing looking all star screamy. His name is Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie Transformers. On this side of the box, we have Blitzwing. On the other side, we have Blitzwing. He is a Voyager class, a class of your joy, a Voyager class, a class of your head on a class, a Voyager up top. Transformers Bumblebee on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box you have your oh, obligatory product shots and a very very brief bio if you want to read it in multiple languages hooray for languages and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have the Ballroom Blitz himself, Mr. Blitzwing, as he appeared in the Bumblebee movie, and here he is in his jet mode. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Yes, right off the bat, I know this is not the screen accurate jet mode. It is what it is. I don't really care because I don't put that much stock in the alt mode anyway, so not a deal breaker for me, but hey, that's stuff for other people to obsess about. But jet mode still looks pretty nice. Let's get in close here again so we can take a look at the detail. You have some nice transclearance amber plastic there for the cockpit. You have some nice dark gray that fades into the uh, very light gray. And you got some red in there as well. Got some red trim there on the wings. You do get a bit of panel lining going on there. Um, his feet are just kind of folded up back there. <laughs> uh, you know, things gotta go somewhere. Tail fins, all that good stuff. And raise up a little bit because there is the top. There is the bottom. He does, he, he slides as flying things should. Hooray for slidey flying things so there you have that and for comparison uh, here he is with shatter with studio series starscream so you can see how that works out and here he is with the last night nitro zeus this mold was used for studio series so hey i'll count it there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include some weaponry. He has a little hand cannon. You can see all this done in a nice silver. And you also have what I call his throat ripper outer. That's the technical term, I believe. And you can store all of this on the jet mode if we just turn... Mr. Blitz around. You can see there is a tab right here which will go into this slot right there. And you just get that lined up and just push it in. And that's where that stores right there. And then you take the throat ripper outer and it pegs in underneath either of these fins there. And that's how that stores. Which is kind of unfortunate because you have this big opening right here. It would have been nice if you actually could have just kind of clipped it in here somehow, but it doesn't, it doesn't fit. As much as I want it to fit, it doesn't want to go. It just doesn't. Or if they had made this port smaller so you can just plug it in right there like that, that maybe would have made more sense, but hey, it is what it is, but yay. It's storage for things that need storage, and hey, everything stores, so. It works, why not? Dare I say, why not? And one more thing here in jet mode is uh, you can open up the cockpit. Um, you see the back of his head in there, but you know, hey, you can open it. Why not? It's a thing that opens if you want it to open. And of course, the landing gear flips up. These are just molded in place, but the front one can come down and flip up if you want to. But yeah. So that is basically it for the jet mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> All right, so first thing we need to do is remove the weapons, put that to the side, rip out the throat ripper outer. We need to also remove these. You just tab in right there, just pop those off, put those off to the side, and now we can commence. So the first thing we want to do 
as we want to just kind of push down on this section of the wing here. Now I'll just kind of unclip things, get things loosened up here like that. It helps if you uh, bring his toes up, get them out of the way so you can then swing his arms out. Just get this out of the way. There we go. Just swing the arm out here and swing the arm out. Bring those toes down again just to get them out of the way. And once you've done that, you kind of want to get under here and because there's a tab that goes in right there. It's a pretty strong tab too, at least on my copy. Just kind of get under there and just kind of push that up. There we go. Let's see. Can you see the tab in there? Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is, right there. There's right there, just peeking at you. Just pop that up like that and just get all of that out of the way. So you can then take all this and bring this up like that. So we want to take the nose cone here. You want to just flip this down. Uh, we want to bring up the uh, landing gear first. You can see there's a little tab there that will go into the nose cone right up in there. So just bring that around and tab that in like so. And then you want to rotate this entire cockpit section around like that. Make sure that stays tabbed in. And you got that going. So now we want to bring all of this back like that. Open up the cockpits, flip out his head. That will thoop into place, close it back up. And then we take the chest and bring that down like that. Once we've done that, we can take all of this. This all just comes up in one piece. Flip that in, this little hinge here will angle down and you have these tabs, which will plug in right back here on either side. So just push that in, get that nice and squozen. And if you want, you can angle the wings back, take the tips, rotate them up. And we got that done. So now we'll work on the legs. So you just want to split the legs, we can Flip his toes out now. Flip his toesies. Take this, bring that over, rotate this all the way over, so they sit like that, and then bring this whole section up, tab it in, straighten out the foot, and then we rotate the leg at the thigh, and there you have a leg all done. Second vest is just like the first. Bring that up, bring that around, swing that around, tab it in, bring down the foot, rotate at the thigh, and these little hip pieces can move. You can fan those out a little bit if you want to, or if not, if you want to leave them against his thighs, you can totally do it. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. But we're pretty much at the home stretch here. You want to take these panels and just rotate them around so they sit behind his forearms, and then rotate his hands. Bring them down so everything's oriented properly. Bring up these little fins, you can angle those however you want. Same thing on the other side, rotate, rotate, bring that down, angle that how you want, get his head peeking out there. And there you go, there you have Blitzwing in his robot mode. And he's a really good looking Blitzwing, I like him, I like him. I think it looks quite good, in my opinion anyway, but let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, at his noggin, there's the noggin. It's a little hidden behind the uh, faux cockpit there, but you can kind of bring it up a little bit there. Let's get a look at that head sculpt, nice looking head sculpt, nice silver paint there on the face, red for the eyes. And this part, the silver part of his face is all this transclearant amber color and then painted over, so it's nice, you get that little effect there. Looks quite good. Let's see the yellow there. Yellows and the grays. Oh no, very nicely done. You got some nice molded detail. Again, as always, would have been nice if it was picked out with a bit more color, but all in all, very nicely done. His little wheel toes. And the back, not too bad, pretty clean. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, but just due to the way it uh, it sits on it, um, you don't get any wiggly waggly, but he can look up. He can total squirrel, totally do that. Can look down, head can do a full 360. Uh, arms can rotate, 
the full 360 can move in and out. Again, those little fins, you can angle how you want. Bicep rotation, you have a double jointed elbow. So you have nice full range of movement there. On this side, you have wrist rotation. And on this side, you have wrist rotation and the hand can open and close. Uh, you do have waist rotation, but it's not too much. It gets hindered by this piece right here, but you do get a little bit of waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back, not that far, outward, that far. You get thigh rotation, you get 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And as far as the feet go, uh, the toes can move down if you need them to, and you have your ankle tiltage. Now, one thing that does bug me about this figure is that I am not entirely sure if his chest locks in totally, because sometimes when I'm trying to rotate his arms, his whole chest comes up. It seems like the only thing holding his chest in place are these two tabs back here, and that doesn't seem to be enough. And I don't know if I'm missing something, if I'm doing something wrong, I am not entirely sure, but I don't see any other locking points for that chest, so I I don't know. Like I said, I, I could still be doing something wrong. I don't know, but as of now, anyway, it doesn't seem like his chest totally locks into place. I don't know. Again, could be doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not. I don't know, but... Just a thing to bring up, nonetheless. So, there you have Oh, yeah, and of course, the, uh, the wings can be angled forward or back. Those little bits can be angled how you want. So, yeah, even some articulation there in the wingular region. And, of course, we can give him his accoutrement here. We can take these and plug them into the wings. And these pretty much finish off the look for him right there. So we got that going on. Uh, we can, of course, give him his weaponry. We can give him his arm cannon. You can see there's a tab right there, and the tab goes into the slot right there on his forearm. You can plug this on either side if you want to, but in the movie, it came out of his right hand, so we'll put it in his right hand. There you go. You can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and uh, no, it is not blues compatible. No, no, it's not. It's not. And, of course, we can give him his Throat Ripper Outer um, if you want to store it. There's a little post right back here, so you can store it on his back if you want to. And if you want to, you can, uh, just to show this off real quick, you can store the gun right back here as well. So everything does have a place, if you need it to have a place. But let's give him his uh, Throat Ripper Outer. And for this, you just pull his hands out. So you have a swappable hand feature here. And you just plug that in. There you go. He's ready to rip out some throats. And you can take the uh, hand and I guess you can plug this back here. I don't know. I don't know. He can, he, can, he, he can wave to people behind him as he is ripping bots' throats out. I don't know. Hey, do what you want. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There you have that, and now for comparison, here he is with Studio Series Starscream with Nitro Zeus with Bumblebee Movie Prime with Cliff Jumper with Shatter and drop kick. And with the two bubbles. So, there you go. And the last thing, of course, is the included base of displayage, which as always is inside the box. Get out. Get out. Get out. Open it up. There you have the canyon. All that good stuff. No John Cena. There used to be a John Cena somewhere. Oh no, he is there. He is there, but you can't see him. <laughs> uh, anyway, number 65 Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee Movie logo. All that good stuff. And we can take the Blitzmeister and just pop him down. As always, display options. Options are good. 
So there you have Studio Series Blitzwing, and yeah, for the most part, a really well done figure. Um, the jet mode, I know, is not accurate, but I don't really care. It's still a good looking jet mode, so I can live with it. Um, the robot mode looks really good. Um, as is usually the case with Studio Series, my one gripe is that I wish it had more color, I wish it had some more paint on it, but it is what it is. Um, uh, as far as the chest um, not locking into place, again, that, that criticism is pending approval because, again, I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong or I'm missing something, so the chest not locking in, that criticism is pending approval, but um, yeah, for the most part, fun figure to mess with, and I do quite like him, so... There you go! Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there's the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Blitzwing, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Home in your face! You think you can hide from me? Where are your friends hiding? I'll never talk. No, oh, yeah? How about we make it official? My name is Cliff Jumper. Nobody cares!